Hello, 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 hello. Uh, I'm Ishmael and, and welcome to today's video. Praise the Lord. I just pray that the Lord blesses you through this word. May your life never be the same again. May this word gets to help you see transformations more, especially if this word really resonates with you. Make sure you don't take it lightly, but pray further about it for the manifestation, for God's blessings and all. Hallelujah. As well as even if it's not directly talking to you right now, may this word, let this word be a teaching unto you. Praise the Lord. Because I have a word, hallelujah, and it's the first time I really talk about this. So you must look at these most important things that are hindrances to people's breakthroughs, to people's progress. Most of the time, and this is still happening, the way that just came to me right now is, in fact, I felt like this way, I hope God will help me in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Spirit of God help me to bring out this message according to how God absolutely wishes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Or desires. So listen, chances are given to people. Chances do come your way. But there are many factors that influence how you receive, hallelujah, how you take in that chance that comes into your life. Hallelujah. Let me tell you that somebody wanted to have a word with you, somebody, and you could not tell. And so that you don't repeat the same mistake, you must understand that today we're living in an age where a lot of opportunities come in different ways. Some through the phone, some come through um, other people can just tell you. Some people can just randomly, directly, out of the blue, approach you. But then the hindrance comes with the way we receive those people. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, is it chapter 12 or 13, it says, Don't get weary of entertaining strangers for some entertained angels without realizing. Let me tell you that it is easy to miss out at a good opportunity, to miss out at a visitation from someone who is going to take you or advance you great in a greater places in life. Due to being rude, I've been, if not mistaken, but I've seen situations where someone can just be calling you out of the blue. Maybe you're walking in the mall. Then somebody be calling, hey, hey, hey. And in your mind, you assume that maybe that person, ah, one of those people who just uh, wants a handout, you know, who just wants you to help them with something and just want to ask for money or who wants to mug you or so. But that person persists, persists up until phew, you finally give that person attention and that person be like, oh, I wanted to show you that you dropped your card or you dropped your money, you dropped something. And be like, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, thank you. you know, usually, be, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, God, now you will relax because you assumed the worst of somebody. As well as the situations where women are being approached by someone who is suitable for you, but you are unable to recognize when he's telling you to wait, like, ah, nah, no, 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 you know, you know, it's so fun. I don't know if these things are real or what, but I do believe that at some point in life they do exist. But I was watching one of, I like watching those videos where um, a gold digger pranks. I'm sure some of you might have come across them where a man will try to uh, wait on to make a woman give him attention and all. And then she'll be acting rude towards him. She'll be acting rude. He'll be like, can I have, can I have your number? She'll be rude. Then he starts to walk into his luxurious car. Then the moment she sees the car, she starts coming back and starts giving him attention, you know? And then that's when he will tell that, ah, oh, this lady, she's just after money, not because of me. And yeah, of course, I don't want to talk about women. I'm just giving an example, okay? But I'm trying to show you, all in all, how you miss out of visitations. For example, Rebecca... She was just told by Elias that there's a man who's looking for a wife. And she was be very beautiful. And of course, and obvious, at a place where she was from, there were many men. And of course, they could see how beautiful she was. But I like what Rebecca did. In fact, it was even easy for her to have been discouraged more. Because if you can recall in that chapter 24 of Genesis, even the parents 
wanted to delay her from following Elias. They still asked for her, for her, for her consent or something like if she is willing to go back with him. Without having to see Isaac, how he looked. Remember back then, there were not even photos and all these things. When the parents asked, do you want to go back with this man? She didn't even really know Eliaza or know the man she's being hooked up with. But she just said yes to show that she was ready. She was following how her heart was feeling. Let me tell you that the greatest gift or greatest grace that you can have is to be able to discern. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says, blessed are those who believe, although they have not yet seen. That's what even Jesus told the Thomas. Who believe without seeing. And I know at times you can say, but sometimes you find that those people that you give attention, somewhere, somewhere they've been sent by the enemy. They are not real. Some they are doses or they are criminals or thugs. And that's true. That is why before you say no, before you act rude, that's why I'm trying to give you, I've been giving you these examples in the beginning because there are cases where that situation is for your own benefit. And there are cases where those situations, they are working against you. So you must know when. There are so many people who missed out on the right people. They would say no to a right person and say yes to a wrong person. So what does that tell you? You are bad at choosing the right people. You block the right people who come into your life. That's why I've had people confessing. Even some women will be like, oh, I don't know why I'm so attracted to men who are already taken. I've even had this lady saying the same. I'm always attracted more. to. I always fall for people who are, who are unavailable. That is an error that you must see in yourself and rectify. Someone wants to speak to you. Someone texts you, even social media DMs you, but you find that you are ignoring them. You act rude. You feel like it's offensive when somebody just comes out of the blue. I know that it's something which maybe probably it happens on a daily basis and now you are getting tired. But pray. This is the way I have for you today. Pray that you'll be able to discern so that God guides you and you know when to wait. Remember the example that I told you that you find that you dropped your card or you dropped some cash and then someone will persistent, persistently call you, call you and you'll be acting rude until they be persistent enough until you stop and they show that they were, in fact, you dropped something valuable and you'll be like, oh, thank you. So let that grace be upon you that may that person, although you are kind of rude, be able to be persistent in you and you can be able to be easy enough to give that person access instead of blocking them. Because that's what's missing. People come knocking at your door, but you don't open. Not everybody opens. That's why Jesus gave an example. I'm knocking at the door. You must open. He's knocking. They are knocking. You won't tell on how you can find somebody stable for you. One can just DM you and they be the right one. One can just stop you in the street and they be the right one. Some one can just send someone to say, go and tell that lady that I like her. Or a lady telling a man that she likes him and some men be like, no, I don't prefer a lady to chase me. And already he doesn't know that he's blocking the right woman. These things, you must understand, they have no formula. God does what he wants at his own time. You cannot uh, 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 tell or create or tell God how to do things. Allow me to wrap this video here. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Receive this weight. May you see your breakthrough. May you not miss out. May the Holy Spirit guide you always in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. And as a way to stand out as a top follower of this channel or as a top fan, feel free to just go click this thanks button on the bottom of this video's title and as for me i will see you next time stay blessed